just waiting for another vehicle to very quickly reposition and then we're going to sneak in and see if we can have a little view. Ooh, this leopard is tucked away so nicely. Oh, we're going to see. We're going to go forward. Thank you very much. Well done. One of the Arethusa guides managed to find this leopardess. Let's see if we can get a view here. Oh, it's a tough one, Brian. That's a hard one, hey? Let's see what we're going to get from this angle. Now, who are you, madam? Now, of course, you know, I'm still learning all the leopards on the property. There are a couple that I haven't seen. And I'm not sure who this is. The guy that was just in the sighting said that it was perhaps Tandy. I've never seen Tandy before, but we're just going to have to wait and see what's about to happen. And maybe you can help me. And if perhaps you know who this is, I'd absolutely love to know. And you can do so by hashtagging Safari Live on Twitter, or you can send us an email questions at wildearth.tv. Let's have a look. Come on, girl, lift your head up for us. Now, if it is Tandy, I'm going to be so excited. Like I said, I haven't seen her, and I've been absolutely dying to have a look at the second daughter of Karula. We've seen Shadow quite often. We saw her the other day with me and then we saw with Brent and I don't know when last we've seen Tandy so I hope that this is her and if you're wondering what on earth she is doing that's preventing us from having a look there we go who are you who are you now you can see that she's grooming herself so nicely Wonderful, I've just got a little whisper in my ear from Louise and she says that this is indeed Tandy. So if any of you had guessed right or passed on the comments that, that this was Tandy, thank you so much for all your help. But now I'm going to need a little bit more information. I'd like to know a little bit more about this beautiful leopard. And I'm sure one thing on your mind as we sit here looking at her grooming herself you're probably wondering where on earth is her cub? Now, the last thing that I heard, and this is, I haven't really heard any new developments, so I could be behind, I have just been on a long holiday, is that unfortunately she lost her male cub and she was left with her daughter. Now I'm not sure if her daughter is still around or if unfortunately she has lost her too. But like I said, if you've got any interesting information, Oh, sorry Louise, I'm struggling to hear what you are saying to me. We're in a very uh, difficult section. Oh, maybe it is. I know a couple of you are saying possibly it could be Shadow. Let's see, she's got three on the right side of her face. If she's got four on the left side. And with that pink nose is a giveaway. Let's see. Come on, girl. Let's see if you've got that four spots on the left-hand side of your face. Maybe it is Shadow. It wouldn't surprise me because we've been seeing her hanging around in this area. A couple of days ago, remember, Brink found her. And that was just a little bit north, though, closer to the boundary between Arethusa and Juma. I think it could be her. I don't think Tandy's got a pink nose. I mean, that pink nose is very unique, and it doesn't look like a young leopard either. She looks slightly older. She's got a couple of tears in her ears, a couple of scars and things. Come on, girl, let's see the other side of her face. So that'll be exciting if it is Shadow. Maybe we'll be able to get a, a nice look at her. And then I'll have to update it on the radio as well. But having a good, good afternoon groom. And when she was found, she was found walking along the road we must have just missed her brian and i were searching in this area but we didn't check this road but we checked another road probably about 200 200 meters away from this from this beautiful girl hello beautiful 
I'm so happy to see a leopard this afternoon. There we go, is another opportunity. One, two, three, four. Can you see that? Four spots on the left hand side of her face. So well done. That isn't you are all incorrect if you said that this is shadow. And I always have to thank you. Thank you so much for always helping out and with the identification of leopards. For some reason this is something that doesn't happen overnight and it takes a bit of time and practice. But now this is the third time that I've seen Shadow, so hopefully the next time I won't mistake in her. I think I was actually so exciting and ho hoping that it was going to be Tundi. And now I, I know, I can't really comment on what she looks like just yet because she's sitting down and I can't see her tummy. So we'll, we'll hopefully we'll have a look and see what her her body is looking like. Maybe she is pregnant because if she's got a full belly again, remember we saw her, I think it was almost a week ago, we saw her sitting on top of the termite mound and she did look like she had a big belly, but she didn't stand up for us, which made it obviously quite difficult to really tell. And then we saw her with Brent and she was bulging. And if that is the case again today, I think I'm going to agree and say that there are a couple of little cubs inside that belly of hers, but we'll have to wait to make, well, to sort of really be able to answer that question. Hello, girl. Isn't this lovely, though? Never did I think on such a windy day would we be so lucky to see this beautiful leopardess any cats really in this horrible weather with it being so windy I thought that they would all be tucked away under some shrubs well sort of like shadows doing at the moment I don't think we would have seen her if she wasn't walking on the road I think if she was tucked away like this we everybody would have just driven around until she got on the move again Hey girl, you're settling in for the day.